media mats provide a visual effect that makes it easier to apply mats to a clip, like making a circular talking head or playing video behind text. If you're familiar with track mats in Camtasia 2020, you can think of these as track mats version 2. Remember that a mat is a way for us to cut out a shape and put something behind it like a video or an image. Mats work by using exactly two tracks. You have the shape track above and the video or image immediately below. Start with your media on the lower track, then select the shape or text and put it on the track immediately above your media. Change the shape's duration so it lasts as long as you want the effect to last. To apply the media mat effect, click the visual tool on the left and drag the media mat effect to whatever is on the higher track. Notice there are settings in the properties panel that we can use to customize the mat. We can invert the mat or choose a luminosity option which uses the lightness of a shape to show through to the track below. Intensity lets us change the amount of the effect. In other words, an intensity of 100% shows only the shape. 50% shows both the shape and the underlying media at 50% opacity or semi-transparent and 0% doesn't show the shape at all and only shows the underlying media. And the ease in and out options basically let you fade in and out the effect. Because media mats are applied to a clip above your media, you can combine media together into a group and apply the media mat to the group.